Paints and Colors and Couturnics. They have several different colors. They have the browns, the Italians, the A&Ms, the recessive whites, the rosettas, the fawns. And they're probably forgetting a couple more. They got Manchurian from UK, and then they also have the British range from the UK, or the American range. But right now, I'll show you what I have, as opposed to... They also have the tuxedos. Those are, they can be the browns, the reds, or the blacks. I have browns, which is what I'm trying to breed. I was breeding with, I had six A&Ms when the year started. Due to predators and for some reason the A&Ms didn't last very long. I don't know why. But... They all recently have died off. The last ones got killed because it flooded. As you can see, I have an extra cage in here. It floods excessively, so I have to put everybody up when, it, when there's a threat of even rain. So here's my different breed, or different colors. They're not breeds, but they're different colors. Everything's a Catornix. Everything's known as a Catornix. They're also called Jumbos, Japanese Quail. Right. Turd just steps on everybody. So here's my quail. They were out for fun today, so they're all pooped out. So I have this one. Come here. This girl right here. Poor boy. I can't tell because this one's a Rosetta. This is a fawn. You see the colors on their backs. So this is a Rosetta fawn. You can see the lighter colors. If I were to put it next to this one, you can see she is lighter than this Rosetta right here. This is a Rosetta. As I said, I've been mixing Rosettas and the A&Ms to get my, or my tuxedos. And I got an almost tuxedo right here. This is my first. This is an almost tuxedo. So this is be a tuxedo Rosetta Brown. So this is my almost tuxedo and he's not too happy about being held. That's the color I got from mixing the Rosetta and the A&M's. That's a pure Rosetta right there. But since everything's mixed, it really doesn't matter what colors they are. The colors are like a dog breed. It's true to form. So this guy is an almost tuxedo because his colors doesn't go all the way down. Their whole belly is supposed to be white and then around their eyes are supposed to be white. And he's halfway there. And then I have browns, which is this girl right here. She's a brown. You see she's got speckles, so she's a chest. All these little quail are my grow-out quail. They're about six weeks old. And if you believe it or not, that guy right there is six weeks old. That big guy, I named him Andre. I also call him Mongo. Come here. Come here. Come here. Because he's so much bigger than all the rest of the quail. And then I have an Italian right here. I have a female Italian right here. She's a baby. She's my I just had my female Italian die. Her name's Princess. This male right here is in here. He is almost a year. He got bit or stung by something, so he's in here. And then I have this brown right here, which is a fawn brown. As you can see, she's a brown. But next to this one, she's a lighter color brown. So those are the colors that I have. The A&M's and the recessive whites. The only difference between the A&M's and the recessive whites are the recessive whites are 90, 95 to 100% white. So they don't have any color on them. That's why they're called the recessive whites. Some of them have blue eyes, which I had a few of those. And it's just how most quail are. I have these guys. Those are Bob Whites. My pretty girl. It's a Bob White female. There is a Cotornix next to a Bob White. That's a Cotornix female. And that Bob White most likely is BB, which was born alone. She always gets picked on. And this is my male Bob White. So that's basically what I'm shooting for. Here is another Rosetta with white on her face as I'm going for more towards the tuxedo breeding. It's been two years since I've tried breeding tuxedos, and 
This is the first year I've got one. Or got a partial tuxedo. Because it's it would still be considered a tux because it's got the white on it, but it's not considered a full tux because it doesn't have the full white belly. That would be basically the breeds of quail. If I ever get any more, I'll update this video. But right now, this is what I got. This one right here, you won't be able to see her color very well, but this is my original fawn. Her name is Terminator. There she is. You see the color on her. She's really pretty. And I never knew what she was. So I did some research, and I still never knew what she was. But I knew she was a rosy. And, but I still wasn't sure. So I did some research. And there was a lot of colors that people called them. People called them cinnamon. People are bringing up different names for them. People are making up their own names. But those are called fawns. I bought a book from the UK that has more quail stuff in it than anything in America can have. And in there it explains that they are a reddish brown or a pinkish red. And that's what she is. And that she was a fawn. Those are my different quail breeds, or quail colors, because they don't come in breeds, they come in colors. So everything's a Gatornix, and everything's a Jumbo Gatornix. Would you stop picking on him? Mean little shit. So everything is a Gatornix. So Gatornix is, there's nothing between a standard or a Jumbo, it's just, they're all Jumbo Gatornix, that's what they are. That's what they're called. If somebody tells you something different, it's most likely crap. There's no such thing as a bat in Katornix either. And I think a lot of the color variations or the color confusions that people have with Katornix is they raise button quail. Button quail and Katornix are nothing alike. They're even a different species and they're nothing alike king quail. King quail is the wild version of the button quail. They're cousins, but they're nothing alike. These brown ones, some people will call them the wild strain. And if you look up wild Katornix, they're nothing like these brown ones that we have here. They look the same, but they don't sound the same and they don't act the same. This is my, my cage full of boys. I need to be fed. I fed them earlier, but they even had a house and home and about to become dinner. So those are my Katornix colors. Some people could be making different colors, but I'm not really sure. Like, I have this, this Rosetta Fawn right here that's got white, but I just call it a Rosetta Fawn because that's the colors they are. Go ahead and ask me in the comments if you have any questions about colors of quail. Or if you have any confusion between the quail. And I'll, I'll be sure to answer you.